Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today bringing you this week's Evlog and this one is going to be about all the games coming out over the next few months because this is the sort of time of year where all the really amazing games get sequels and everything and new original titles come out and it's generally great and I'm really looking forward to it because first of all Dragon's Dogma Online is released. Now the problem with this is it's only been released in Japan and they have no plans for a western release which means Nobody outside of Japan can play it, but there are ways around this, including a VPN, which I'm in the progress of setting up, which basically means I connect to a Japanese server and then I can get, I can download Dragon's Dogma online because it's in like, I think it's fully released now actually, so you can play it and you can test it, and everything's in Japanese, but I, I have no idea how that's going to go, I'll find a way around it or hopefully work around that, because Dragon's Dogma is probably... Yeah, probably my favourite game in current generation release, like PlayStation, oh no, that's last gen now, PlayStation 3 and Xbox, so it was one of my favourite games. And as far as actual games go that are being released in the West, there is Metal Gear Solid 5, which is coming out tomorrow at like 6pm. And I actually got gifted this to me by Julia, um, because she wanted to support me on Patreon, but couldn't, so she said, okay, I'll buy you a game instead. And I got Metal Gear Solid 5, which is fantastic, because it's not only Metal Gear Solid 5, which looks fantastic, it's Metal Gear Solid Online 2, which is, is the first time it'll be available on PC. I think it's going to be great. And um, I haven't done too much research into the game, because sometimes you can look into a game too much, and then it kind of spoils the surprise. So I'm going into it a bit blind, actually, which I'm looking forward to, because all the Metal Gear Solids beforehand, I've loved them, they've been fantastic, and this one is looking to be better than ever. And it'll be the first time playing it on PC too for me, so that's going to be really strange. Other than that, there's other things coming out in a few months from now, like Fallout 4 looks great, I can't wait to play it, I definitely want to. There's XCOM 2, which I'm looking forward to doing a series on, as I've touched on in previous videos, and I think that's going to be, like, they've given it a new concept. Instead of defending the Earth against an alien invasion, you're kind of, the aliens have taken over, and you're striking back and you're trying to clear them out. So I think that new approach on it is going to give it a, a lot of second life, if that makes sense. Then there's also the new Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, and I um, I know Call of Duty isn't the most, like, it's, it's controversial. A lot of people think, oh, it's getting terrible, they re-release the same thing every year, but I think Black Ops 3 is worth keeping an eye on. It looks as though they're going back to their roots a bit more, and it does look interesting. I definitely am uh, going to look into it and see if it's any good or not, so I think I'll be getting back into Call of Duty at this point, because I dropped out after Black Ops, I think, then I just stopped playing them. And there's also Tales of Zestaria, which is a RPG. The Tales of Game is, the Tales of Games are like a really big franchise. I've played Tales of Graces, Tales of Zillia, and all the others, I've heard so many good things about them. And Tales of Zestaria is coming out on Steam. It's like the first time it's been released on Steam, and it's come coming bundled with Tales of Symphonia, which is great, because that's one of the best ones or so I've heard. And other than that, there's a few other games like Star Ocean and New Star Ocean. Star Ocean 3 is my favourite game of all time, like, hands down, and they're releasing a new one of those, because Star Ocean 4 was a bit sucky, and they've acknowledged that. They've literally said, okay, we kind of went in a bad direction with Star Ocean 4, so we're going to go back more to how it was in Star Ocean 3, and I think that's going to be fantastic. And, um, yeah, just so many games, even the Final Fantasy VII remake and, and Final Fantasy XIII when that finally gets a release date, God knows when that will be. There's just so many good games coming out recently, so I wanted to do a video saying that I am looking forward to them because I haven't really talked about it in other videos or on Twitter or anything like that. But Dragon's Dogma Online, Metal Gear Solid V, looking forward to those coming out soon and then the others will come in due time. And I can't wait to play them. I probably will do coverage here or there on some... Some of them, I think the only one I'm going to do an actual proper series on is XCOM 2, um, which will be like the previous series. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I need to say. Let me know what you think of all the upcoming releases. Uh, let me know which ones you're getting, and let me know what kind of videos you want to see on the games that I have mentioned. Until then, this is me, Evans with Z11. Please rate me if you enjoyed the video, and this is me out. Peace.